it is possible for compounds to have more than one CC double bonds. If there are two double bonds in a hydrocarbon, we have alkadienes. Alkadienes can be conjugated. The double bonds alternate with single bonds. Here is a double bond, a single bond, a double bond. The name of this compound is penta-1,3-diene. Conjugated alkadienes involves a series of sp2 hybridized carbons. And these sp2 hybridized carbons interact with each other to give an stabilizing effect. The next type of alkadiene is isolated alkadiene. It involves double bonds that are separated by at least two single bonds, such as this one. The name of this compound is penta-1,4-diene. Because the double bonds are far apart from each other, they behave like regular alkenes. The last type of alkadiene is called cumulated alkadiene. The double bonds share a common carbon atom. They are also called alenes. So here, this central carbon is linked by two double bonds. This carbon is sp2 hybridized. This carbon is sp hybridized. And this carbon is sp2 hybridized. This compound can be named as penta-1,2-diene. The stability follows a decreasing order from conjugated to isolated to cumulated alkadienes. As I mentioned earlier, isolated alkadienes behave like regular alkenes, particularly during reactions. However, conjugated dienes react differently. They give 1,2 addition and 1,4 addition products to hydrohalogenation, halogenation, and hydration reactions. For example, if we start from 1,3-butadiene and react it with HBr, this double bond may obstruct this proton and break this bond to form an allylic carbocation. This allylic carbocation is stabilized by resonance. That is, this positive charge can be distributed among several carbon atoms via transfer of these pi electrons. This provides a stabilizing effect to the allyl carbocation. Bromine ion may attack either at this carbon or at this carbon. If the bromine ion attacks at this carbon, you will get a 1,4 addition product. This is called a 1,4 addition product because the hydrogen is attached here. We can say this is position 1 and bromine is attached at position 4. So we can have this reaction coordinate diagram for the 1,4 addition. If the bromine ion attacks this side, we can have 1 to addition, that is, they are positioned at carbon 1 and carbon 2. The 1 to addition product is less stable than the 1 for addition product because here the double bond is more substituted. Nevertheless, the energy of activation for the formation of 1 to addition product is lower compared to the energy of activation for this case of the 1 for addition product. The reason for this is the allyl carbocation. Here, the allyl carbocation is on a secondary carbon, and this is more stable than this allyl carbocation, which is on the primary position. And so, the attack of bromine at this position, which forms the 1,2 addition product, will have a lower energy of activation. This will result to a faster reaction. 
if we control the temperature of the reaction. A lower temperature will prefer the formation of the 1-2 addition product. A higher temperature, however, will prefer the formation of the more stable 1-4 addition product. Thus, upon reaction of HBr with 1,3-butadiene at minus 80 degrees Celsius, 80% 80 of the product is the result of 1,2 addition. At higher temperature, the preference is reversed. The 1,4 addition product is now more preferred. If we heat this mixture, and bring it to 40 degrees Celsius. There will be a shift in preference and give this one for addition product in higher proportion. Hence we have here kinetic control. In kinetic control, the more stable allyl cation will lead to a major product that form faster. This is the one to add up. Kinetic control allows the species that formed faster to be the major product of the reaction. We can also have thermodynamic control of a reaction. Here, the more stable product will be the major product. In our case here, the 1,4 adduct. The 1,4 adduct is more stable because of the more substituted double bond. 